开始哦。所谓的愿景者呢，基本上就是你有非常棒、非常原创的想法，你知道未来可能会是什么样子，他们呢会有各种想象，绝对不会被现实呃呃限制。他们是我们未来的梦想家，同时也是未来革命的一个推动者。所以，我们接下来下一位就是我们刚刚讲到的每一个面相哦，他真的就是一个愿景者，他真的就是我我们杰斯成功的一个背后的一个推手，就是过去这十二年来有着他带领着我们，其实一起创造网络营销这个产业里面的历史，而且每次呢还是继续努力，继续。更智慧、更投入哦，因为他对杰斯有非常非常大的愿景，不只是希望杰斯成为一家公司，而是希望成杰斯成为一个运动，能够真的改变大家的人生，能够改变碰触几百万的人的生命，改变大家呃，改善大家的健康，改善大家的收入哦。那他今天会跟大家分享他的愿景，那我希望各位大家不只是去听哦。真的是仔细仔细的去听，然后真的也因此设下自己的愿景，拿用它来点燃你自己的成功哦，然后进入让二零二零年有强劲的启动。所以接下来我们来邀请我们最棒的一个讲者，我们的策略长 Scott Lewis。在这个业界里面，其实有许多的导师。我记得说，在我母亲的这个呃，大概我二十几岁的时候，母亲。They really got into me because they said you have to be more. Grew up with a pretty normal, simple life. My mom was always my mentor growing up. She was such an inspirational person in my life. But I remember there was a certain stage in my life, maybe it was in my late teenage years, that my mom would be taking phone calls at midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and I really didn't understand, like, why is she taking these calls? As I've been able to grow up in this industry, it all makes sense to me now. She was practicing servant-driven leadership. It was truly inspiring, you know, even in my teenage years, to be able to go to these launch events or training events and sit in the seats and be able to feel the passion in that room, to be able to feel what the company meant to the distributors, being able to hear the stories, being able to see people live a better life because of this industry. It's allowed me to become a big believer, to believe with conviction in the power of network marketing, and to become truly passionate about what it stands for. We offer people something much more than a job. It gives people the opportunity to be a part of a movement. It's changing people's lives, not just externally in the field to the distributors, but also internally. To be a part of a company that doesn't just offer world-class products, a business opportunity, but it also has a very clear cause-driven focus. Very unique and special when you, as a person, are able to identify what you're calling, what your purpose is in life. I feel like I've been able to find that because of Janesse. So when I look at these names, it's not distributors I see. It's like brothers and sisters to me. I mean, we've been able to travel the world together. We've done huge arena events with 15,000 people, and to be able to see the passion that they. Pour into this business for me. It's so rewarding to see. One thing that really sets us apart from the competition is the heart of this company and the love that we share together as one Janess family around the world. I've just got this inner drive that pushes me forward because of the work ethic that I've grown up around. Knowing that people are putting their trust and their confidence in us—that's always put more pressure on my shoulders. Because I know that when people are trusting you, they're putting their confidence in you. We have to deliver 100% of the time. I'm more driven, more focused, more hungry today than I've ever been. I believe that we've got something very special in our hands, and that Janess is destined to be one of the great legacy companies in network marketing and paving the way to be a multi-billion-dollar household name in the industry. Talk about Janess being a global movement. 
a movement will carry on generation to generation. And I believe that we've got every aspect in this company that will allow people to be a part of something so great, so big, that can literally change the world. What's up to my entire Jeunesse, Asia Pacific, Africa, and greater China family, Expo 12 Ignite, the moment we've been waiting for, the world tour continues. Such an honor to be able to connect with all of you today from here at World Headquarters, although I really wish we were together in Korea today because we were supposed to be in Seoul. Many of you know we kicked off the world tour two weekends ago in Las Vegas, MGM Grand. It was incredible to see people on the in the seats again, to have real engagement, to see eyes and smiles, to connect with that energy. And that's what's coming very soon to Asia Pacific, Africa, and greater China as the world continues to normalize. But what an incredible way to kick off the world tour. Uh, what a moment. I mean, we launched two new products. We launched a new ruby and emerald pool. We launched new promotions. Incredible things were announced at Expo in Las Vegas. But now the time is yours. Asia Pacific, Africa, Greater China, your time is now. And I'd like to start with gratitude. Let all of you know how thankful I am for all of you tuning in today, for putting a priority in your Jeunesse business, for your trust, for your confidence, for your belief, for your dedication, and for getting out there and living Jeunesse every single day. Our moment is now. This weekend, it's our responsibility to ignite a new spirit, to ignite new excitement, to ignite more energy. This is a big weekend. This is your weekend. Are you ready? You better get ready because we're coming to your houses and watch parties and to all of our offices where we've got our Jeunesse family coming together and we are going to celebrate Expo and we are going to kick off this Expo season and close out this year in a major, major way. Now many of you know that I like to kick off the event, I like to talk about the theme of the event and it's always very strategic, the theme that we select, of course 2020 was vision, 2021 we celebrated last year, 2021 the theme of Ignite. Why the theme of Ignite? Well, you think about the defi definition of Ignite. Starting something up, bringing something to life, creating a spark that can hopefully become that eternal flame. And that is what Jeunesse is all about. That is who we are at our core. 12 years ago, that's exactly what our plan was, to ignite a legacy that would burn for decades and decades. And 12 years later, yes! here we are burning stronger than ever. And that's because of your commitment. You see, the goal of Jeunesse was never to be that single spark in time. It was to be that long-term legacy company in network marketing. And I knew from the very beginning, when I walked out of that conference room and we finalized the, the Jeunesse logo, the reserve packaging, I had that feeling in my gut. And it was in our old building, and I walked into the hallway, and you know, there were probably eight people in the conference room, and I took my mom aside, and I looked her in the eyes, and I said, Mom, this is a company that is destined for greatness. I knew it 12 years ago. I could feel it in my gut. I could feel it in my soul. I didn't know we would experience the success, and I'm um, so humbled by this incredible journey. But you think about it, that long-term vision is what's holding us stronger than ever today, and it's what it's going to carry us forward. We're going to celebrate 12 years of changing people's lives this weekend because you know we have to celebrate on every stop of the world tour. 12 years of life-changing experiences, incredible friendships, memories that we've created, but it's only just the beginning. You think about all those memories, all those experiences, the first 12 years, we'll get ready. We're not just celebrating the past 12 years. Today, for our anniversary, tomorrow, we're celebrating the next 12 years where we will continue to revolutionize this industry of network marketing. You see, 12 years ago, when I got that feeling in my gut, in my soul, I knew that I would be committing my life to this mission to our mission at Jeunesse, to creating a global movement, bringing together like-minded, like-hearted entrepreneurs just like yourself with that unified mission to get out there and create a positive impact in people's lives. That is the vehicle. That is the movement that we call Jeunesse. We knew to have a longevity business, 
We would have to build this lasting legacy. We would have to be prepared for anything. We would have to be bulletproof. It would have to be built right into the plan, right into the strategy. We knew there'd be times that we'd have to overcome challenges, times that we'd have to do things differently, but we never feared. We always expected the unexpected. You see, last year was probably the most unexpected test we could have ever expected. The very foundation of our culture of Jeunesse was taken away with no events, with no incentive trips, and uh, what an amazing feeling it was in Vegas a couple weekends ago to have that live event, to bring all those hearts and minds together under one roof with this unified passion to our mission of Jeunesse. That's the lifeblood of Jeunesse. So what do we do if the status quo is no longer an option? We're doing it right now. We're connecting with all of you through this incredible platform. We're still able to connect through energetically, through our passion, through our purpose, through our vision to create the number one network marketing company in the world. All of you need to recognize this timing that we have. We're leveraging technology. We're connecting as one Jeunesse family. Everyone's looking to be a part of home-based business opportunities. So why not you, why not now? Leverage this moment in time when people are looking for a secondary stream of income, where people are looking for other entrepreneurial things to get involved in. The time is now to leverage this vehicle, this platform that we've created. So we had to get creative. We had to adapt fast. You know, we had to do what we've been telling all of you for the last 12 years. We had to step the hell out of our comfort zone and go where we've never gone before. All of our staff moving and working from home, all these, you know, virtual events, finding new ways, new promotions, new products to, that are relevant in today's world. Everything had to change. We had to get outside of that comfort zone. No matter what the barriers were in front of us, Jeunesse is still Jeunesse. The mission is still laser focused. Even though the method disappeared, the mission has never changed. The mission is laser focused. That's the mindset that we want to ignite in you this weekend. What this weekend is all about. It's about your mission. It's about your passion behind that mission. It's about focusing on why we do this, why you showed up today. Yes! And I want to encourage all of you to be present this weekend. Turn off the TVs, put your phones on airplane mode. You've already taken the time to watch some of this event. Make the most of this weekend. Give this weekend, give this event, give these speakers the ability to speak into your hearts and this weekend may just change your life. That's the mindset that I want all of you to have this weekend. Focus on why we're doing this and blast through all those barriers that are trying to stop us from achieving our dreams. That's what we're standing for here at Jeunesse in today's world. Some of the things are out of our controls, like hurricanes, pandemics, all the negative talk that happens in network, in network marketing. But let's be honest, there's also self-inflicted self -inflicted wounds, doubts, fears, lack of focus, lack of confidence, lack of motivation, listening to naysayers, we all fall into this trap. We all battle that negative self-talk. I can tell you that there's a long list of negative things that we often choose to perceive as failures or signs that we should give up. But what if we set all of that aside and we looked at all the positives? What if we started every day with gratitude, the way I start my day? Five things in my gratitude journal every single morning. What if we realized how special this brand, this company, this family, this movement is, and give it the respect that it deserves. This incredible world-class multi-billion dollar brand that has changed hundreds of thousands of people's lives. You see, at Jeunesse, we're gonna attack all of that this weekend. We're gonna attack it all. There's a long list of things that we're gonna cover this weekend, but we want to be able to attack it with resolve to overcome those challenges, to overcome that adversity, that, you know, that doubt, that fear. Together, we're gonna get realigned with our purpose and our passion this weekend, and we're gonna take Jeunesse, and more importantly, your business, to a whole new level in 2021, setting yourselves up for a massive 2022. Maybe our confidence took a hit, maybe your confidence took a hit, but to, if, as long as your purpose is still intact, we are stronger today than we've ever have been. Maybe your passions wavered just a little bit. 
during this pandemic. I know many countries around the world there in Asia Pacific and greater China, many of you have quarantine procedures and it's been challenging. Maybe your confidence took a hit. Maybe your passion did waver that little bit. But if your purpose is still raging inside of you, you're in the right place this weekend to reignite all of those emotions, yes! to live all of your dreams. Remember that day when you first joined Jeunesse, the excitement, the belief, the hope. What if we can recreate? What if we can ignite that on a whole new level this weekend? That's what I want for all of you. That's what I'm gonna bring, and that's what I hope to get this weekend as well. And no, it's not business as usual. It's not even close. It's better than business as usual. You heard me talk about it. Think about the time in today's world. People don't just have open eyes, open ears. They have open minds to opportunity. You look at what we've built, the credibility. Fastest company in network marketing history to a billion. Eight billion dollars in revenue in just 12 years time. Over 13 million dollars contributed to Jeunesse Kids and projects all around the world. This is credibility over 950 awards for our marketing, for our branding, for our video assets. All of this is your credibility when you're out there sharing your Jeunesse, when you're out there sharing your Jeunesse business. Recognize the timing. Looking at your business from a perspective that, get, that gets results no matter how unusual the world around us may have become. I always say that Jeunesse, we're here to disrupt the status quo, disrupting our own comfort. That means thriving, excelling, even when our comfort zone is disrupted, even when we're uncomfortable, thriving and excelling. There's people, even in the middle of this pandemic, their businesses are thriving. Their teams are advancing in ranks. How are they doing it? They're keeping excitement high. They're keeping energy high. They're projecting that energy, projecting that excitement. And we've got new ranks and momentum happening all around the world so why not you Asia Pacific? Why not you Greater China? I'm gonna go ahead and say what's up from north to south because I did in the beginning. So Konnichiwa Japan, Anyang Haseo Korea, um, Ni Hao to Taiwan to China to Hong Kong, Soadikap um, to Thailand, Salamet Pagi to Indonesia. Uh, who else? Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines. Good morning to all of you. Who else am I forgetting? Africa, all of our African countries. Hello to all of you. Just want to send my love, to send my energy. And we are connected today as one Jeunesse family. The spirit of Jeunesse is fearlessness, it's resilience, it's passion, it's determination. Res the result of all of those qualities are what created this momentum to 12 years, but more importantly, what's going to carry us forward. The Jeunesse story is continuing to write itself every single day, just like the founders envisioned it would. Similar to some of the most successful brands in the world, kind of similar to Apple, if you think about it. Just like when, um, when, the, when the founders, when we founded Jeunesse, Steve Jobs had a vision for Apple that long outlived himself. He saw his legacy far into the future, and he knew that those foundational years just like Jeunesse, our first 12 years, those foundational years were not gonna be smooth, not gonna be perfect, there were setbacks. The App Apple had losses so substantial that Steve Jobs was pushed out of the company. The struggles were that real. It took Apple also six years, incredible time, very fast to that first billion, but they had to take two steps back. They had to re-strategize. And uh, when they brought back Steve Jobs, you look at what they've created his legacy lives on today. You know, there was once a time when everyone's looking for the latest trend, the pre-launch company, the shiny new, you know, the new brand, all these crypto deals and scams around the world. But I always say one thing, and I say this always to our diamonds, stability is the new sexy in network marketing. People are looking for a company that has credibility, that has its heart in the right place, a company based on the right principles, the right values, with scalability, with so much upside potential. While many other companies and brands have come and gone over the past 12 years, Jeunesse has remained undistracted, laser focused, and we are still the top distributor centric focused network marketing company in the world. We're here to serve yes. you, we're here to watch you, achieve your goals and to live your dreams in this company. The first decade, first 12 years, that was phase one. We laid the foundation, we laid the infrastructure, 
50 distribution centers around the world, 35 offices, 150 countries we're shipping to, $8 billion in revenue. But most importantly, we changed hundreds and thousands of people's lives with youth, with experiences, with events, and we built a culture. We set every record. We rewrote history in network marketing, and guess what? It was just phase one, best 12 years of my life, but guess what? It's only gonna get better as we come together even stronger than we ever have been before with an even bigger vision, with an even bigger passion, with a purpose that drives us all the way to the top of this industry. We're gonna continue to invest in this business. I talked about stability. We're investing in new energy, new talent. You've um, heard from our new COO, Rod Larson. You've heard from our new president of global field development, AK Khalil. Maybe our president of North America, Betty Perez. All three of these executives have owned and run their own companies. They understand every aspect of this business. We've, business. When we've brought so much energy, so much innovation, so much disruption to the executive team, just wait to see that energy, all of that strategy come forward because we're working on some big, big things for all of you, closing out this year and for January in 2022. Constantly we're investing in new innovation, new technology, uh, new systems, because we wanna support you. What got us to $8 billion in revenue isn't what's gonna get us to the number one spot in this industry worldwide. We have to think differently. We have to think outside of that comfort zone. That's exactly what we're doing th this weekend. This weekend, we're preparing for all of you to come on that journey with us. You're gonna get tremendous value, educa education from experts, not just the best of the best in Jeunesse, the best of the best in network marketing today. So to prepare for that experience that you're gonna get this weekend, let's ignite your senses. Let's ignite some of those tools you're gonna to be using this weekend and well beyond, and it all starts with igniting your perspective. Yes, it's discouraging sometimes to have business challenges, to have life happen and life challenges, but this is life. I always told myself even a negative feeling or emotion is a blessing because it's a feeling, it's an emotion. And um, you know, I want all of you to ignite your perspective because it's true in all industries. You know, every industry, every life, not just business, lives, people's lives. We are struggling over the past couple of years. We could adapt. We had to find new ways to engage, new ways to connect. Last year was the first year we didn't hit a billion in five years, but we did over $750 million. Go ask any of our competitors that are knocking on the door, how many of them did over $750 million? It was a lesson in preparation, adaptability, resilience, and in resolve. It was a test. And we passed it together as one Jeunesse family. And we are reloaded, refocused, and re-energized with all the new strategies, all the new products, ready to take this company to the next 12 years and beyond so that all of you can achieve those goals that you've set for yourself. I want you to see this as an opportunity you have a choice. You can look at all the challenges and focus on the negatives, or you can focus on this just being life, this being part of the natural cycle of life and business, and see this as an opportunity for you to get a head start on the competition, for you to leverage this moment in time that I, like, that I talked about. But also this weekend, we're going to ignite your belief. If you're telling yourself you can't, guess what? You won't. You've got to believe. You don't need to know how you're gonna do it. You just need to know what you want and why you want it. What you want and why you want it. You're gonna get the skills. You're gonna get the information, the education, the value this weekend to apply to your business so that you can start to experience that progress, that positive momentum, start to climb the ranks, achieve bonuses, win trips, qualify for experiences all around the world. This weekend, I want you to build a belief that's even higher in the products. Build a belief in all the promos that we're launching. Build a belief in this company. Build a belief in this profession of network marketing. And most of all, build belief in yourself. You have to have conviction in this story of Jeunesse. Conviction in the products, the opportunity, the founders, the story, the stability, the infrastructure, the global platform. You have the vehicle but it's up to you to recognize, to plug into the system, to leverage all of the resources. I remember Tony Robbins said at Expo last year, he said, it's not a resources problem, it's a resourceful problem. 
Be resourceful. Leverage all the great tools and resources and products and Jeunesse Lives and universities and all the ways that you can enrich your Jeunesse business. You have that moment this weekend. I don't know how many of you watched the US Open, the tennis tournament a couple weekends ago, but I used this reference when I was in Vegas. It was very relevant at the time, but there's an 18-year-old girl named Layla Fernandez. She had, and she was playing in, the semi or playing in the quarterfinals against Naomi Osaka, probably the biggest name in all of women's tennis. And Layla Fernandez had never played on this stage. Arthur Ashe Stadium, Stadium, over 20,000 people. And she won that match. And after the match, during the interview, they said, 18-year-old girl beating this icon, she said, Layla, you know, at what point during the match did you start to believe that you could actually beat Naomi Osaka and win this match? You know what her answer was, that 18-year-old leader, before the match even started? Always. I always believed I was capable of it. That is what you call belief. That's how powerful it is to believe in yourself. Don't let anyone tell you that only once you start to believe in yourself, it can be halfway through the match or when you start to see success. You've got to believe in yourself today. And I want to know, do you believe? Do you believe you're at the right place? Do you believe you're at the right time? Do you believe you're with the right company? You need to believe in yourself today and every day on your terms. That's the spirit of Jeunesse. I believed in Jeunesse since it was just an idea. I didn't know we were gonna break every record in this industry. I didn't know we'd be fastest to a billion, but I knew we were destined for greatness and I didn't know how we were gonna get here, but I never stopped believing. I had conviction. I had conviction what we were creating. The amazing thing is I believed then but I believe even more now. But besides believing, you know what else? We've been working our asses off to prepare for this moment. Nothing comes just by wishing. This is our moment this weekend to ignite your drive, your commitment to growth. Even though we're not physically together, I know, although I know there's watch parties, I know our offices are doing watch parties, so I know you guys are finding ways to connect, but let's ignite our drive this weekend. There is so much that's happened over the past year, but my drive is bigger than it's ever been. I'm more hungry, more focused, more driven, more passionate because I realize the foundation set. I realize the responsibility we have to share this gift with the world. That gift is called Jeunesse, and all of you have that gift in your hands today. It's up to you to make the most of this week and apply it to your business and get out there and touch people's lives. There's gonna be new talent, new innovations, new ideas, new promotions, new energy. We're localizing our business in so many ways. We're enhancing our compensation plan with our new Ruby and Emerald pool, new technology, a new vision. This company, this journey has only just begun. We've got so much fun, so many experiences to share over the next 12 plus years. We are only moving forward. Let's never lose our focus. There's been plenty of distractions over the past couple of years with news, social media, politics. It's been all over the place. But make sure you stay aligned with that purpose because that purpose is going to continue to fuel your passion. Focus on what makes you feel good this weekend and how to achieve that feeling. Ignite your focus this weekend. At Jeunesse, we're focused on being disruptive, disrupting the status quo transforming, creating a transformational company that is transforming thousands of lives around the world, shaking up the industry, pushing boundaries. We're focused on continuing to build a platform that changes lives for decades to, de decades to come. And to do that, we've gotta be willing to be inventive, to think differently, to reinvent ourselves, to ignite that inventiveness, especially in Asia Pacific and greater China. There are markets where they are not able to do live meetings and leaders are thriving. Let's find new ways to attract new customers, new distributors. Let's find new ways to expose our business, to expose our new products, promotions, all the crazy experiences that we're planning for 2022. Last year's expo, you know, I'll never forget a live production on a stage with no people in the seats. Um, I really had to get outside of my comfort zone. And um, I remember, you know, coming off that stage and it was such a different feeling. 
and we can't wait to be able to come back to Asia Pacific and, and um, greater China and reconnect with all of you. I've got so many memories across the region from the early days, from every single one of the markets, and it's just been an incredible journey, and we can't wait to get back there with all of you. Uh, many of you know, um, you know, after Expo and uh, last year, I took a, took a moment to, to reflect and um, did some self-awareness. So this weekend, we want to ignite that self-awareness. You know, I was not spared the effects of last year like maybe some of you. Um, I'm someone whose identity is Jeunesse. My natural habitat is on airplanes and meeting rooms and stages and being with you. And, um, you know, I found myself doing some soul searching. It had been so long since I had traveled and connected, and I just was losing my energy. I was losing my passion. The purpose never left, but the passion. And uh, I went on a personal retreat, and I found this life coach in New Mexico here in the United States, put aside my phone, didn't touch my phone, didn't have access to my phone or technology for one week. And I did a lot of inner work. I did a lot of soul searching. I uh, did a lot of reading and meditating and, and really looking, from, looking within at where it was in my life. And um, because I, 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 believe it or not, I didn't like how I was feeling. And it was because of the pandemic. It was because wasn't doing what I loved to do in the same way. I had to adapt. But I remember you know, having this reflection, having this moment of realization and how special Jeunesse is, how special you are to me, to our family, how special these experiences are. This is life. This isn't business. This is life for us. This isn't just business. It's personal. I always say that. And I had to really dig deep, and it made me realize that what we've created not only is historic, it's, it's truly special. The spirit of this company, the heart of this company, it's something that's really our competitive advantage. And I came out of that retreat with a new awakening, with a new belief, a new perspective and understanding and what my role and responsibility is. And that's to serve you. And it's not to serve you just speaking on a video and connecting with you at events. It's serving you behind the scenes. It's making sure that we're doing things not just to meet your expectations, but exceed your expectations. If you think about all the success we had over the first 12 years, all I see is room for improvement. All I see is room to create new awareness, to create new strategies, and that's what we're focused on. I cannot wait to create more memories with all of you, and I came out of this retreat with more passion than I've ever had, and a level of respect and pride for what we've created. And guess what? I came out of that retreat, and I wasn't hungry anymore. I was starving, starving yeah! to take Jeunesse to the next level, starving yeah! to share this opportunity, to share this platform, this life-changing vehicle with the world. That experience had me, it really helped me understand myself better. Um, I had to find, you know, it came out finding new ways to feel alive, motivated, passionate. Routine was disrupted. I found new ways to connect, to fuel my passion. But the dream, the dream never changes. The mission never changes. Comfort is the enemy that will lead to our complacency. Outside of the comfort zone, I realized I'm a lot more complex, a lot more layered and multidimensional than I ever knew. We can be effective in new ways, but we have to look within and be vulnerable with ourself, with others. Be transparent with ourself and others, looking at within. Let's stop making excuses. There's people in countries around the world that are waiting three weeks for their product to arrive. Or maybe their prices are more expensive than your market. Let's look for solutions. Let's look at all the blessings, all the beautiful things, all the resources we have in Jeunesse, and let's leverage the heck out of it. We have gotta be more effective in new ways, but we've gotta ignite that self-awareness to change that perception of what we're truly capable of. And for all the new Jeunesse family, maybe this is your first event, you're going to ignite that first ingredient of success that weekend. You're gonna ignite your confidence. Uh, a couple weekends at the World Tour kickoff, we had a keynote speaker, Zha Zhang. He, he, incredible keynote speech about overcoming that fear of rejection. You're gonna build that confidence this weekend. You're gonna ignite it, but expect adversity. If there's no challenges or adversity, you're not, gonna, you're not succeeding. Success isn't defined by those easy times. Successful people are defined during the challenging times. You think about every great athlete. 
How many, you know, great basketball players? How many shots do they have to take to finally hit that game winner? If you're not failing, you're not succeeding. If you're not taking those chances, if you're not embracing that adversity, if you heard Zha Zhang, he went into the expecting adversity, almost like wanting the adversity. And it was amazing how he actually got a lot of yeses expecting no's. So let's embrace adversity. Realize that that is part of the process. Respect that process. If winning came easy, it wouldn't be something to celebrate or shoot for or work hard for. Winning takes hard work and it takes resilience. This weekend, you've got to ignite your resilience. There's going to be challenges. We will have challenges, but we embrace those challenges as one Jeunesse family with this unified resilience. Make them a part of your plan so that you feel great about yourself when you take on those challenges. Rather than using them as excuses, take on that courage and embrace them and conquer those challenges. All those no's are just another opportunity for a, for a yes. Let's ignite our courage this weekend. I'm not really worried about all of you because all of you are committed. I already know you're committed because you're tuning in this weekend. That tells me that you're not afraid and you realize yes! it's not about you. Put that self-fear, put that self-doubt away. It's not about you. It's about all the people out there looking for a better way, looking for health and wellness and beauty and youth enhancement and anti-aging, looking for home-based businesses, looking to travel the world, looking to be a part of a community. It's about all those people out there and we've got to share the message, not with a sense of opportunity, but a sense of responsibility to serve others. Listen to people. Listen to what it is they're looking for, and I assure all of you, there is something in Jeunesse that will answer one of those problems. After this weekend, it's going to be a life-changing weekend. We hope to ignite your resolve, a commitment that you're going to see this thing through, that you're going to be at Expo next year, a commitment to your mission, a commitment to our purpose, a commitment to your why. And if you don't have the resolve to see it through, your why is going to be following you for the rest of your life and asking you why you never followed through. I know you've got questions. I know you've got doubts, nerves, butterflies, what ifs. But guess what? What if I could tell you all of that's going to be addressed? All of that's going to be answered this weekend from our experts here at Jeunesse. Make sure you take in all the value that they're going to bring you this weekend. Because guess what? They have felt those same emotions that you felt. So really soak it in, really make the most of what they're sharing with all of you. Leverage everything that we're gonna put in front of you. Leverage all the new tools, promotion, all the content, hours and hours of content that most people will pay hundreds and thousands of dollars for, for a weekend you know, course. All of you have it for you this weekend. So leverage everything that we're putting in front of you. What I want all of you to know is that I'm committed. The vision is evolving. I am more committed than I've ever been with this sense of responsibility. And it's because of all of you putting a priority on your Jeunesse business. I look at the past 12 years as the best years of my life with so much gratitude, truly humbling, an opportunity for personal and professional growth. And I thank all of you that have been a part of the journey. But that journey is a thing of yesterday. Today is a new journey. This doesn't have to be Expo. This can be the launch of Jeunesse Phase 2. A whole new mindset, a whole new level of excitement, a whole new level of passion, a vision bigger than it's ever been before. Yeah! Get into that mindset. Get into the moment. Make this weekend the best weekend of your life and know that we're going to be backing you up every step of the way. Love you guys. Thank you so much. We've got an incredible weekend planned for all of you. I cannot wait to see you somewhere else on the world tour. Join us in Panama or Brazil or in Venice. Uh, just can't wait to be able to give you guys a big hug to recognize you for all of your achievements and uh, get ready because this roller coaster ride is about to get a lot more interesting over the next 12 years. We love you guys. Continue to set your goals high. Dream extremely big and know that we're ready to run harder and faster than we ever have in our lives as we pave the way to create the number one network marketing company around the world, changing millions of lives, creating experiences that will last a lifetime. I love you guys. See you at the top. One team, one family, one Jeunesse. Thank you.